Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay here and today we have a special sneaker unboxing from eBay. But before we get into that, I just feel like I've been seeing a lot of proposals lately. I swear to God on Instagram, on Facebook, a lot of my friends, they're just popping the question left and right and I'm just like, bro, I'm out here just trying to get a sneakers dub and you guys are just proposing like, what is going on, man? Drop a comment down below if you guys have been noticing the same thing. I swear, bro, I swear, I know at least 10 people that proposed within the last Last week. Is it something in the air? Is it the weather? What is going on? And speaking of that, congrats to my boy Mike the Compass, aka a sneaker life. He recently popped the question. Congrats to you and Mary, bro, if you're watching this, which you probably aren't because you think I'm washed. But anyways guys, we have a brand new unboxing here today. Now I did drink a little bit of coffee and I rarely drink coffee, so I'm a little bit jittery. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I feel that caffeine rush, so if you guys think I'm acting a little bit different or a little bit weird in this video, that is the reason. So, right here we have this box that I've been waiting for for the past, I wanna say week or so. It was slightly delayed because of the holiday season and now that it's here, I figured I would just do this unboxing with you guys. Not gonna lie, my confidence with this purchase is probably like maybe a 7 out of 10. No, no, no. Scratch that, scratch that. Like a six and a half or six out of 10. This was the lowest priced pair on eBay, which was already kind of sus. There were no product pictures on there showing that this product was in hand, also sus. The guy had like a 67% rating or something, and he took an extra week to ship this thing. So three strikes right there, and I still bought it. Call me crazy. So today, we're gonna go ahead and unbox these things. They feel a lot heavier than a normal pair of shoes, so. We'll see what we got, man. At least I got it for this video. Hopefully it's everything that we expect. That would be dope, but if not, then everything is recorded on video, so. Let's go ahead and get this thing cracked open. Happy New Year, by the way. Shout out to everybody that was showing love in the previous video, which was the Cheap Finds Friday. It gets me super hyped when you guys leave some comments and leave those likes. Let's get this thing unboxed. Let's see what we have here. Okay, I think that's the correct box. This is my first time seeing this pair in person, so. Let's check this thing out. Okay, they added the bubble wrap. That's good. That's good, right? All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Side of the box says Fugazi. Top of the box in a very small font says one in the chamber. So these, of course, are the one in the chamber. So let's go ahead and check these things out. Like I said, I've never seen this pair in person. So this is my first time and this is gonna be my first reaction. Oh my god, this is a nice box. Yeah. Oh my god. Yo, I'm actually I'm actually impressed by this pair. Oh my goodness. Bro, what is going on? Let me just set these down real quick. Ugh. For those of you guys that don't know, this shoe is an inspired Air Jordan 1, and this is called the One in the Chamber. This is by a company called Fugazi or Fugazi, and if you guys don't know what that means, it basically is a slang word for fake. So these are technically fakes. The upper and sole are Jordan 1 inspired. The silhouette is pretty much dead on, right? I mean, you guys see it. The only major difference has to be this revolver right here. And I must say, this material right here is super nice. Here's the bottom of the shoe. The grip is a little bit different from an Air Jordan 1. Drop a comment if you guys would like an in-depth review of this shoe. I've seen a few reviews on YouTube, but I haven't seen too many. So if you guys would like to see my review on this shoe, 
drop a comment down below and that will be the next video. But for now though, I'm gonna give you guys just a quick look at this shoe. One of my favorite parts about this has to be that paisley bandana print running around the heel of the shoe. And look at that freaking quality. I swear this quality feels a lot better than most Air Jordan 1s. And I'm sure a bunch of you guys might be wondering why I even purchased this shoe. A lot of companies have been making their own versions of this Air Jordan 1 inspired model. But the one that mainly caught my eye had to be this one and it had to be this colorway right here. There is another version of this, which was, I think a Chicago colorway, if I'm not mistaken. Might have been a black toe, but I'm pretty sure it was a Chicago. But for some reason, I feel like this colorway hits the most hard. It's the most subtle looking colorway. And the details on the shoe is amazing. I just gotta say, I mean, once I break it down in the review, you guys will see what I'm talking about. And even just seeing it real quick, I'm sure you guys are able to tell. This shoe right here is pretty fire. Now, if you guys are wondering how much I paid for this, I paid $290 on eBay, which was the lowest price that they had them at. I've seen sneaker stores trying to sell this for $400 and a lot of the pairs that are on eBay are selling for about like $350-ish so I feel like I got a pretty good deal on this pair. I know that it's kind of crazy to be paying that kind of price for a fake Air Jordan 1 but in all honesty, I feel like this one has to take the cake if I had to choose Jordan 1 inspired shoes. Let's start a little debate in the comment section down below. Are you guys a fan of the remade or Jordan 1 inspired shoes or do you think this is trash? If I were to bring it back to my high school days, I more than likely wouldn't be wearing this kind of stuff and I wouldn't approve of it. But now I'm just more open-minded and I care less about what other people think about what I'm wearing. If I like the shoe, I'm going to buy it, I'm going to wear it, and that's all it is at the end of the day. So I know there's people that hate this shoe, there's people that love it. Drop a comment down below what you guys think about this sneaker or Jordan 1 inspired sneakers down below. I've seen a few that had lightning bolts on the side of it. I've seen some with like a middle finger on here. I think Ben Baller was wearing those. I've seen some with like a katana or a samurai sword going down the side. There's a lot of variations and it's not too hard to find them online if you guys just go ahead and do some searches. But like I said, if you guys want a full review on these, I will be down to do it. It'll probably be the next video. I'll throw them on feet. I'll show you guys all of the details. Cause like I said, this sneaker right here has a bunch of details, but I just don't want to show all of them in this video. I mean, you guys already saw part of the shoe, but if we get into like the packaging, the quality of this box is crazy. Look at this. The inside has a nice flap to it. It has two magnets right here that I can see. I don't know if y'all can see it. And when you close the box, it's magnetic. So it looks really nice. Presentation wise, I think they killed it. And then there's a little size label on the side of the box. Definitely a very controversial shoe. Probably one of the most controversial unboxings that I've done. At the end of the day, I know I'm gonna rock these like crazy. I'll catch you guys very soon for the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon for the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. Shh.